Admiral Akbar began his military career on his homeworld of Mon Cala, where he served as the captain of the Mon Calamari Guard. He served as advisor and protector to the young prince Li Char during the Clone Wars. After the prince's father's assassination, the Quarren and the Mon Calamari broke out in a civil war. The Republic sided with the prince, and the Separatists sided with the Quarren. Akbar was instrumental not only in helping the prince secure his rightful place as ruler of Mon Cala, but also helped him find the courage to defend his people. By the time of the Battle of Yavin, Akbar had joined the Rebel Alliance and organized the evacuation of the base on Yavin once it had been exposed to the Empire. He took on numerous responsibilities, including opening up supply lines, searching for a new long-term base, and carrying out strikes against the Empire. When the second Death Star was discovered by the Rebellion, Admiral Akbar commanded the Rebel fleet aboard his ship, the Home One. Despite the attack being a trap, the mission was a success, resulting in the loss of the Death Star, the Emperor, Darth Vader, and the Super Star Destroyer Executor. In the year following the Emperor's death, Akbar worked against the Imperial Contingency Plan known as Operation Cinder, eliminated more Imperial leadership at Akiva, and led the New Republic fleet in the Battle of Jakku, marking the end of the Galactic Empire. He retired and lived in peace on Mon Cala for 29 years until General Organa requested he join the Resistance as the threat of the First Order began to grow. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.